Ooh, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a different one. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave from Chase the Summit, and if you haven't noticed, if you've been around my channel, I usually post pretty consistently, but it's actually been a couple of weeks since I've last posted, and that's for one very good reason. Uh, I've had COVID for like the past week and it's kind of sucked. <laughs> the timing for this was completely awful. Basically, my kid gets tested at school. He uh, ended up testing positive. I had to pick him up. It was December 22nd that he came home from school just in time for Christmas where basically our entire family picked up the virus and uh, we were all positive uh, by Christmas day. So yeah, it's been, it was an interesting holiday in the Dylan household. But don't worry too much, uh, the family's safe. Everyone had pretty mild symptoms, including myself. I'm basically back to 100% now. I feel pretty good. I've been running and stuff. Uh, so yeah, don't feel don't get scared, we're all good, everything's good. Uh, let's talk about the topic of this video. So while I had COVID, I was actually wearing multiple wearable devices that detect your everyday wellness and fitness tracking and things like that. And that was actually for an entirely different video, but it turns out this is actually more interesting. I was actually tracking how the COVID virus was affecting my actual body. And now I wanna go through some of that data comparing Garmin's body battery from this Garmin Phoenix 6 that I'm wearing on my left wrist to the Whoop Band 4.0 that I'm wearing on my right wrist because some of this data is actually really interesting. Now, before we dive into all this, I do want to put this huge disclaimer out there that I am not a medical professional. I am not claiming that these devices do anything in terms of the virus and the pandemic. I don't think they're going to diagnose anything. I don't think they're treating anything. This is purely my experience going through this experience while wearing these devices at the same time. I thought this data was just interesting and that's all it is really. I hope I covered my bases there because I know this can be a controversial subject. And to give you a little history on me, I am a 37 year old guy. I consider myself to be in pretty good shape. I run almost every day. And yes, I do have my vaccine. I got the Johnson & Johnson back in September, I think. All right, so now we're gonna go back in time to December 21st on the Garmin body battery on the left side of my screen here and on the Whoop Band 4.0 on the right hand side of my screen because December 21st was just a typical day. Uh, no one in the house had tested positive yet. Basically, we're just going about our lives and didn't know what was, what was coming. So as you can see here, typical morning, I woke up at 6.19 a.m. on the Garmin and it's showing me waking up at around 6.15 on the Whoop Band so we can tell they're pretty close there. Now, if we scroll down to the Garmin body battery on the left hand side of my screen uh, you can see that I got a good night's rest and that my battery charged up to 82% which is great you can also see that there's not a lot of orange on this graph and that indicates that I had a pretty restful day with pretty minimal stress. However, if you look at the end of the day, this is pretty interesting. You can see that there is some orange spikes near the end and that indicates that there was some stress right before I went to bed. Looking over at the Whoop Band 4.0 for December 21st, same day, you can see that I had a recovery score of 75, which is again, pretty good. And it's right in line with that high of 82 from Garmin's body battery. And you can see that I had a pretty good day of strain where I went for a run at uh, 15.5 and my sleep performance was 100%, actually got eight and a half hours of sleep that night, and I only needed six hours of sleep. So pretty solid, restful day, which is great. Uh, it's probably the best day I could have leading up to getting a pretty bad virus like COVID-19. All right, moving on to December 22nd, and you'll notice right off the bat, something looks a little off on Garmin body battery, and this may be an indication of what's to come. So you can see here from my previous night's sleep, I only charged up to 44% on the body battery. And over on the Whoop Band, you can see that I have a recovery score of 65, which does seem a little bit low for getting six hours of sleep from the previous night. So if I click on the recovery tab here, we can see that my resting heart rate is actually elevated up to 67, which is definitely abnormally high for me. And my heart rate variability has slightly dropped, indicating that something's going on. I do think that Garmin's body battery is actually giving me more information on this day. And it does let me know that something's a little bit off because as you can see, there's a whole bunch of orange on this graph. And as we know, that orange indicates stress. And not only that, I woke up with a body battery of 44%, which is actually pretty low. And my low for the day is actually five, a body battery of five. And that is extremely low. The only time I've ever seen 
that low of a number is basically at the end of an ultra marathon. Quick interruption. If you're finding this video helpful or entertaining or anything like that, maybe click the subscribe and like button down below because that really helps me out. Okay, back to the video. Okay, now we're getting into the interesting stuff. We're moving on to the day that is December 23rd. And December 23rd is the day that I tested positive for COVID-19. And you can see here on the Garmin body battery, it's just basically covered in orange, indicating that my body is at a high level of stress. And even though I got a pretty good night of sleep that night, uh, I only charged up to a body battery high of 19%, which is extremely low. Like ending the day at 20% is low. Uh, starting the day at 20% is really extremely low. So throughout this day, I personally didn't feel that great. I knew something was going on, which is why I ended up taking a test. I think I took a test that evening around 6 p.m. because earlier that day I did actually go for a run but I find this graph really interesting because it shows just how much stress my body was going through when it came down with the virus and how low my body battery score was in the morning and I gotta say in terms of what I actually felt like uh, I feel like this graph accurately depicts what I felt like that day I was totally drained had a bunch of brain fog washed out just like didn't feel like I had a cold or anything, just didn't feel great. Now, if we go over to the Whoop Band 4.0, there's a couple of red flags right off the bat. If you look in the upper right corner here, you can see that my recovery score is 18%, which is very low from the previous night's sleep because I actually got almost eight hours of sleep and I only needed about seven hours and 48 minutes. So I got more than enough sleep, but my recovery was just not there. So looking at that data tells me something's going on and something was going on. So if we go ahead and click on the recovery tab here, you can see some telling information. First of all, my heart rate variability drops to 16, which is very low for me from the previous day, which was 35. Now, if we look at my resting heart rate it jacked up to 74 which is very high for me i usually hover in the you know mid 50s high 50s and my sleep performance was 100 percent for whatever reason i didn't get my recovery that i needed i think all of those things adding together tell me something's going on so i feel like both the body battery graph and the whoop band 4.0 are giving me pretty good information about what i felt like that day so moving through the rest of december 23rd uh, i did not feel good and that was probably the worst day of my experience so that night I went to bed on the couch because I was trying to isolate from myself from the family. Uh, I didn't sleep well. I had a fever all night. I had chills and sweating and just kind of a gross night. It was not good. Okay, moving on to December 24th or Christmas Eve as it were. Uh, things got a little bit better this day. I woke up feeling a little bit more me, a little less feverish and things like that. Uh, and as you can see here, my body battery actually went up to 42%, which seems a little bit high for the way I was feeling, but... Okay, uh, as you can see, there's still a bunch of orange on the graph indicating that my body was still under a lot of stress and trying to recover from this virus. And by the end of the day, I ended up with a body battery again of five and I didn't do anything this day. I basically sat on the couch and, you know, ate chicken noodle soup and did my best to uh, take my vitamins and drink a lot of water and try to recover. And that's really all I did. So draining down to five by the end of the day seems very low. Now, if we look over at the Whoop Band 4.0, we can see that I got a 62% sleep score, which means I did not sleep very good. And I only got four hours and 57 minutes of sleep when I needed seven hours and 57 minutes. So I definitely didn't get close to my sleep goal. And this also attributed to that low recovery score of 39%. And as you can see, that 39% is pretty darn close to the 42% that Garmin gave me. So they're lining up pretty good here. If we dive into the recovery tab, we can see that my heart rate vari variability went up a little bit to 27 from the previous day of 16. And my resting heart rate decided to drop a little bit down to 72 from the previous day of 74. And in general, I feel like both the Garmin body battery and the Whoop Band 4.0 kind of line up here. And they're trying to tell me the same data that I wasn't doing great, but I also was better than the day before. And I'd say that's pretty accurate. Uh, I think on December 24th, I started to feel a little bit better. Okay, moving into December 25th on both the Whoop Band and the Garmin body battery, uh, there was a huge disparity on this day and I'm not really sure why. So Garmin shows that I woke up with a high of 35% on my body battery which feels very low because I actually felt pretty good on Christmas morning. Uh, I had my coffee, kids were opening gifts. Things was things were pretty good for me and it was a pretty chill day overall. Uh, I didn't feel overly sick or feverish or anything like that, but Garmin is telling me 
that I did not get a good night's sleep from the previous day, and I still drained down to a body battery of five by the end of the day, which is not great. Now, if we look over at the Whoop Band 4.0, it's a little bit of a different story. We see a recovery of 69%, which is pretty good. However, my sleep was not great, so that may be what's leading uh, the Garmin into giving me a pretty low body battery. I'm not really sure. You can see that it was recommending I get nine hours of sleep. That's definitely not going to happen on Christmas Eve with four kids in the house. And I only got five hours of sleep. So that definitely seems uh, like the culprit of what made me feel a little bit sluggish on Christmas day. But the Whoop Band 4.0 does show that I have a recovery of 69%, which is kind of interesting uh, because you can see my heart rate variability actually goes back up to 38. And my normal is usually like, mid 40s, you know, low 40s. So 38 isn't too far off. My resting heart rate drops all the way down to 60, which is a lot better than the previous day of 72. All right, I know this information is getting a little bit dense, so I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit to a good day so we can kind of contrast those bad days to a good day and what it looks like just a few days later after I recovered from the COVID-19 virus. So on December 28th, you can see here on the left-hand side of the screen, Garmin's body battery shows me charging up to 83% in the morning after my sleep, which is great compared to those other numbers we were seeing before. Looking over at the Whoop Band 4.0, it's much the same. I've got a recovery score of 94%, saying I'm almost 100% recovered. I've got good sleep performance and a low strain score because I kind of took it easy, easy that day, even though I did run on the treadmill in the evening. All right, we got to wrap this video up. So what does all of this data tell me? And is it useful? I think both the Garmin body battery in the Garmin Phoenix 6 and all of their other watches and the Whoop Band 4.0 did do a pretty good job at telling me what was going on with my body on a daily basis. I could tell by my low body battery score and my low recovery score on the Whoop Band that something was going on. It was more than just me feeling tired. So I was able to act on that a little bit and try to rest a little bit more, sleep a little bit more in preparation preparation of something going south. It is important to keep in mind that these are not replacing tests. You should definitely get a test if you're not feeling good. These are just devices to let you know as a whole if you're feeling good or if your body's recovered uh, and if you should go out for that long run that day. And this doesn't just pertain to the COVID-19 virus. This could be the common flu. Uh, it could be a common cold. You could, uh, you know, anything. It could be a, a GI issue, a stomach issue. Anything like this should be reflected in your Garmin body battery and the Whoop Band 4.0. And at the end of the day, I do think this is a pretty big perk of having a Garmin or Whoop Band to give you this kind of information to maybe give you some insight as to what's going on behind the scenes in your body. And that way you can make better judgment call whether or not you should go out with your friends or go for that long run. Uh, yeah, it's good information to have. If you found this video helpful or entertaining or anything, consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel down below because I that really helps me out. And if you're interested in picking up either a Whoop Band 4.0 or the Garmin Phoenix 6 or any Garmin for that matter, I will have them linked down below. So go check those links out. Okay, I think I'm done now. I've been doing a lot of talking and uh, I gotta go. Yep. Okay, bye.